please be seated. So uh, tonight we have the, uh, the privilege of awarding our four scholarships to our to the recipients. And uh, every year, um, Paradise Valley Silver Trout has been going on, going on for many, many years. Don, do you know how many years? 42 years. 42 years this has been going on. And this is not the first year, but the first year we're kind of bringing it back where we ask the recipients to come into Lodge to actually accept. And we're going to take some video and, and that sort of thing. That way we can let the community know what Paradise Valley is, is doing for the community. Um, today we have a couple, well, every one of the, the applicants this year. We had 13 applicants this year, which is a lot more than we've had in years in the past. And the four recipients this year were outstanding. That's not to say the rest were, were not outstanding, but the four recipients this year were outstanding. There's no question about it. I have a few things that I can add, but for the purpose of time, just remember in your mind, we're giving these scholarships to students who are outstanding. I assure you, Chuck and I evaluated each one of the applications, looked through each one, used a, a grading algorithm to uh, determine who was the winner, and the four that bubbled to the top right here tonight. So without further ado, um, the three scholarships, let me, let me just mention real quick, the three scholarships um, are from the Lodge, unnamed, as far as I know, but I always looked at Don and Ray for guidance on that. And the Asbury Casey, Casey has three and Bob Okay, I, I fear there's a Asbury Casey has three, which is similar to the oratorical contest. Past Grandmaster. Past Grandmaster, excuse me. And uh, my favorite uh, Mason is a worship brother, Robert Reimer, who's not here tonight, um, but also of uh, the oratorical contest. So, um, first, and I'll actually come up when I'm done, that way you don't have to stand here uncomfortably with the recipients. So, when, when I'm done, I'll actually come up here. But this, this student um, is uh, actually the great-granddaughter of Fred Stewart. So for the few of you, there's probably one or two of you in the room, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand, that don't know, but the chair over there in the glass container is Fred Stewart's chair. So if you're not familiar with that, Fred Stewart, worship brother Fred Stewart, am I correct? No, not worship brother. No. He's no. the father of the Books Bikes for Books program. Everybody knows who he is. Everybody in the room wearing an apron <laughs> um, or not. Um, knows who Fred Stewart is, um, a great brother, always there to help a brother out. I mean, there, everybody here who, who knew him, who has been lucky enough to know him when he was alive, has something great to say about him. And we honor him by putting his chair in the back over there. Um, his great granddaughters here, his granddaughters here, and uh, several of his other family, lots of his other great greats. Is there any great greats? No. Just greats. Just greats. Okay, so lots of family members over here. Um, this student wants to be a, a writer and a pastry chef. So we're thinking like uh, pastry books, right? That's what we're going to write, pastry books, with lots of stories in the middle or something like that. And then um, this summer she went to, uh, it's called People to People, where she traveled to six different countries across Europe for, uh, for a school program. So pretty well traveled already. And then um, National Junior Honor Society already taking college courses, um, undergraduate college courses, which is a requirement. Um, this year and plans to have uh, an associate's degree done very soon. So this is going for books and tuition and that sort of thing at PVCC most likely in preparation for um, a college, a pastry college or a cooking college or something like that, that we don't we don't get. Right? We haven't picked. Okay. So uh, Daisy Balassi, if you can join me up here, we'll hand you the check be really quick. Good job, Daisy. And stand, stand here for just a couple photos real quick. Is that good, guys? Mom have what she needs? One more. Okay, Mom, you good? Okay. All right. So good job, Daisy. Uh, outstanding stuff. Um, next, um, and I know you guys know who you are. Uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, Worship Brother Scott Baker has three daughters. I didn't know that the two old I didn't know the two oldest apart. So I have to apologize to you for that. But I knew who you were. I just didn't know which was which, right? They are very similar age. So um, the next recipient is the daughter of Worship Brother Scott Baker. Um, she's past honor queen in Bethel 19, which is the, the Job's daughter Bethel that meets here. Okay, so that's the Bethel that meets here. If you don't come to the Job's Daughter uh, meetings, 
It's outstanding. They do this. My favorite part is at the end they do the song, right? I don't know what it's called exactly, but you get closing cross. Yeah, and then you make a cross. It's very outstanding. I've seen you guys, all three of you, in fact, because I think I started coming when Ann was like. So um, going to NAU, but already took, um, was it calculus? Calculus 3 and 4. Calculus 3 and 4. I didn't know there was calculus 3 and 4, right? And anyone else? Um, already took that in preparation for going to NAU this summer. And then uh, political science and environmental engineering, so a dual major for NAU, right? We're going to get this done in four years or less, then? Hopefully. Scott's banking. Yeah. Yes. That's the mom, okay. And then also graduated valedictorian of our class. So again, outstanding yeah. students, guys. This is where your, you know, your donations are going to the, to the uh, community, right? This is a good, good thing. NAU, State College, right? That's all the requirements, Don. So um, without further ado, Sarah, if you could join me up here, since now you're So um, our next uh, uh, recipient was a Grand Bethel Honor Queen. Um, going to ASU, she is a uh, sophomore, so she's been there a year. And uh, Grand Bethel Honor Queen means she's moved on from our Bethel, because she was already the Honor Queen. I think that's when I met her. And she went on to the Grand Bethel. So those of you that aren't uh, you know, familiar with masonry and, and all of that, that means she's went on to the state level. Is that correct? Is that a fair way of saying that? Okay. And then, uh, so she's a sophomore. Journalism, um, been involved in the lodge, involved in the community, doing great things, and we've all known her for you know seven, eight years, I think, for some of you, right? Me for a little bit less, but again, um, Anne Stevian, if you could come up. So, um, yeah, I wish we could, you know, you know, 
page you or something, but you're getting enough of that in, a, you know, in September, right? Shark attack. So again, very, very good job. We're proud of, proud of you. Great job. You're setting yourself up nice for your life ahead. We're happy to be a part of it. Shelby Laxo. Laxo? Laxo. Uh, Earl told me I'd say it. Shelby Laxo. Thank you. Could you come on up and... Thanks again. 